So Matt Gates is freaking out behind the scenes. He and his team are in full damage control mode. I know that in public, he and his remaining allies, few as they are, continues to suggest that, you know, this is all fake news. The investigation isn't real. It's either totally made up or it's politically motivated against me and or my family because I'm a big Trump supporter and I'm a believer in true conservatism. But behind the scenes, Gates is saying something very different through his actions. As this headline notes from from the Daily Beast. New documents show Matt Gates' campaign in full damage control mode. Matt Gates' campaign is spending money on lawyers, a TV ad blitz, direct mail, and donations to local Florida Republicans. And so you can really infer what's happening there by what he's doing. Because what he's saying in the media, what he's saying on Twitter is all puffery. It's all lies. It's all window dressing. What he's actually doing is what matters. And as I covered a few days ago last Last week, basically, Matt Gates has spent more on lawyers in the last year since Joel Greenberg was initially indicted than in the three previous years put together and many multiple times more than that. So this guy spent less than $10,000 on legal fees in his office from 2016 to 2019. But in 2020 and the early part of 2021, he spent almost $100,000 on lawyers and he's buying a six figure ad buy hundreds of thousands of dollars of ads on places like CNN and in other networks and on local Florida TV to ensure that everyone knows that the allegations are fake news. This is a lot of money to be spending on ads more than a year out from the November 2022 election, which is when Gates will have to run again if he's not out of politics or in jail by then. But the point is, he's clearly nervous. Fully innocent people who believe the stories are ridiculous do not buy hundreds of thousands of dollars of ads calling the media fake news just because they're reporting the truth about your investigation. And look at these other things. Local mailers clearly going out to constituents because he's worried that his own voters, his own people are going to turn on him. And if they turn on him, they'll either defeat him in November 2022 or more likely his very red district will demand a new Republican and he'll face a deep primary challenge. Challenge. He's in this sort of district where the Republican primary is likely more competitive than the November general election. And so he has to worry about that. And that's one of the reasons he's likely sending money to local Florida Republican politicians because he wants to buy their silence and he wants to buy their loyalty. So he's donating money to Republicans at the state level who are in the state assembly, the state Senate. He's giving them money to say, hey, I'm your friend, Matt Gates. I'm giving you money. Don't primary me. Don't sell me out. Don't wrap me out to the feds. Don't wrap me out to the media and I'll keep feeding you money. You might call it in a, in a, in a sense, a sort of political bribe a form of political back scratchery, basically saying that, you know, I'm Matt Gates. I'm from the rich and famous Gates family. We've talked about how his dad, Papa Gates, Don Gates, has donated millions of dollars to Republican causes in Florida and across the country. And so all of this is the proof. When you're looking for the proof of what Matt Gates is feeling and how he's acting, look at the actions, not the words. Behind the scenes, he's spending a ton of money, his own campaign's money, because he's worried about going to jail. That's the story. Matt Gates knows that the walls are closing in, and despite his confidence, he's terrified.